Libra, hey, how are you? Libra, welcome to your general message for the second half of March 2022. These messages are for Libra, uh, sun, moon, rising, and are general, which means they could apply to any aspect of your life, just as long as you do not force the message, okay? If the messages, <clears throat> excuse me, if the messages do resonate, then go ahead and give a like and a subscribe and let me know in the comment box below how it's working out for you. Libra, I want to take this time to thank you so much for your time, your energy, your positivity, your light, um, the good vibes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I do appreciate you. And as always, I give that good energy right back to you because you deserve it. Messages for Libra. For the last half or the second half of March 2022, messages for Libra. last shuffle okay okay so we have mending all right so I definitely feel like Libra this uh, message is definitely going to be talking about uh, relationships probably romantic could possibly be platonic or relationships within your family but this card here is mending so this definitely uh, feels like, um, you know, you could be coming together, having a conversation with someone. Okay. Trying to fix something, trying to repair something. Okay. I feel like you are <clears throat> meeting this person on their level. Maybe you're having to meet this person on their level to do it. Okay. Or maybe they are you. Um, I think you're also kind of, you know, maybe reconciling or acknowledging the differences that you do have between one another while you repair that bond. Now, when this came out, it did come out of the deck in reverse. So for some of you, this could be indicating that uh, the energy uh, feels like you are quite disconnected from one another. OK, it may indicate that one party does want to talk and one doesn't. OK, Libra. But overall, the message I definitely feel here is talking about how you will be working on this relationship or trying to fix something, okay? Trying to make peace with someone over something, okay? And we will get into the message deeper here by pulling some tarot. Libra, let's go ahead and get this last shuffle. All right, so under the deck, yeah, the lovers. So we got the lovers card under the deck. So the energy here makes me feel as though, yeah, these are two individuals who who are coming back together um, to maybe talk about the past, okay? I definitely feel like it's a choice for you to do this, Libra. Like, you don't necessarily have to do this, but but you are still, but you are here because you care. Because you, and because you cared. And because you still care now about, you know, where you guys go from here in this situation, Okay? You know, it feels here with the lover's energy in the mending. It feels like here's Libra. Maybe you made a choice. <clears throat> maybe you made a choice that took you outside of the relationship. Like it, it you, you made a choice that 
had you growing to the point to where maybe you needed to be single. Okay. And so maybe now you're going to be just getting the chance to really communicate those feelings, Libra. Okay, let's go further. So we got the death card. Okay. We got the king of swords. All right, Libra. <laughs> the, uh, and then we have the ten of wands. Hmm. I see a huge ultimatum here. I see a huge ultimatum here, Libra. Libra, someone either was someone either was forcing you to change or you were forcing someone to change. Okay. Um, but like the whoever gave whoever issued this ultimatum could have been, I feel like it may have been you, Libra, but it was it was it was out of fear of thinking that things would never change between the two of you. It was out of thinking that things would never transform. Things would never, you know, uh, progress. Okay. There was obviously something here that uh, Libra felt. I feel like you felt that you needed to complete here. Okay. Um, it feels like Libra, you were transformed. Okay. Or maybe there was some knowledge that you got that transformed you. That made you kind of feel like, all right, I think I can conclude the relationship. Okay. Wow. But I definitely feel like someone gave you or you gave someone an ultimatum, Libra. Like, if you don't change or if you don't, if I, if you don't do what I need you to do or if you aren't, you know, something, then I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. Okay. We've got the Prince of Pentacles. So yes, something was taking a long time to change, Libra. Maybe the person you was dealing with was coming like coming like the uh, the Prince of Pentacles. They were taking way too long. They were taking way too long. Six of Wands, but yeah, but you were getting notoriety. You were getting recognized. You were getting seen and noticed. Okay. There was, there was fast progression or quick uh, popularity and progression happening with you, Libra. And this person was really probably, and this person was never really able to catch up. Okay. They feel, they feel maybe like you left them behind. Um, I mean, and sometimes you got to do what you have to do, Libra. Nobody's judging you. I'm just telling you the story. Um, so let's just see here. Okay, so we have the hermit. Okay, Libra. Hmm. So I definitely feel like, you know, the choice that you gave this person to be how you needed them to be in order to follow you where you were going it wasn't something that you just threw on them. I feel like this was probably something you had been feeling for a long time. Okay. Like, listen, you know, I, I'm not necessarily happy or I'm not necessarily, you know, really seeing myself going farther in this relationship. You know, things need to change within you or I need to change the situation I'm in. So this is definitely something that you, I feel like you may have fought with yourself for a minute about, okay? You may have even isolated yourself a lot before even coming to the conclusion of making a, an ultimatum. Seven of Pentacles. It wasn't, it wasn't worth the wait for you anymore, Libra. Is what I'm saying, is what I'm seeing here. There wasn't enough change happening fast enough with the Seven of Pentacles here. What you were looking at, it wasn't adding up. Like, you know, it wasn't it wasn't where you needed to be. The Nine of Pentacles. So yes, you found more success going it alone, being independent. Okay. 
Okay. And then look at the boss that you become Libra. So you do with the emperor card coming out here, there is definitely a lot of success. Again, we have the death. I'm looking at the death, the six of swords here, and then the emperor in this diagonal and Libra, this six of wands energy is telling me that, yes, you were getting noticed. Okay. And, um, in a way, I always kind of feel like this may be something that you, whatever it is that you do, Libra, this may have been always something that you kind of saw coming for yourself anyways. But then once it really happened, and I feel like whoever you were dealing with, they just weren't matching with your energy. And so they feel like you left them behind in order to achieve your success. But Libra, I feel like you feel like, hey, I gave you enough chances to be able to follow me into this. You know what I mean? Hmm. You got the Hierophant. So, yeah, you guys are really, I feel like y'all are coming together to sit down and talk about these terms and conditions. <laughs> that's what I feel. I see terms and conditions here with this Hierophant energy, and that's so funny. Um, the Two of Wands. Okay. So I'm saying, all right. So now that we're here, now that we're having this conversation, okay, now what? Now where do we want to go? All right. We've discussed what we've needed to discuss. And so now what is what I'm seeing with this two of wands? And then the eight of wands. <laughs> so I think that what this really indicates here is that even if you don't necessarily settle everything, I think that the main goal for you guys is to still be able to remain in contact. Even if it's just quick communication, you know, Hey, I'm just checking up on you. Hey, how you doing? Something like that. A quick little voicemail, a quick text, a quick message on Facebook or something or whatever. Just just to know, say, hey, I'm, 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 I'm keeping up with you. I'm keeping tabs on you. I see you out here doing big. You know what I mean? And it's just about, like I said, settling the differences with one another. Um, and again, even if you never really get it, it doesn't necessarily have to be all worked out and fixed in this go round. OK, but it does happen. All right. And I feel like for a lot of you, the end, the end result is that you guys really choose to work on the friendship by just at least saying that you will stay in touch. OK, you'll, you'll keep in touch. Because it feels as though maybe this is something that, you know, happened. It could have happened a long ago. And then now you're finally getting to a point to where you can talk about it with this person. OK. So that, you know. So that y'all can work on becoming friends again. Okay. Well, let's see here. We got runes. Candle. Okay. Let's, all right. So let's get one more. And then labyrinth. Wow. Everybody has labyrinth. <laughs> so that does tell me that maybe on a grander scale, a lot of you, a lot of us are dealing with, uh, you know, uh, our own inner maze of life and our own inner work and our own inner journey. And ultimately, Libra, of course, that's what it was. That's what allowed you to be able to um, move forward and progress where you are now is because, you know what, you knew that you had to devote your time and focus on healing yourself and manifesting your dreams here with this candle. OK. OK, you knew that the answers were going to come from you actually going out there and putting yourself in it and seeking those answers. They weren't just going to come to you. You understand what I mean? And I feel like that's a part of what you're going to be expressing to this individual. Like, hey, um, you know, I understand that we got some issues and we got some problems, but let me tell you where I was at. You know, I felt like at that moment I was here and you were there and you couldn't get yourself up to where I was. And that's not I mean, and that's no shade. You know, I felt like you were holding me back. OK. And like I said, if it offends them, I mean, they were already offended. But the main purpose here is that there's still a, that you guys still do want to be connected. You guys still want to be friends or, or partners in some degree. OK, 
So I definitely feel like you guys do leave the open, the communications open. And so that actually is really promising. So Libra, I'll go ahead and leave the message there. If the message is resonated, then go ahead and let me know by let, uh, typing in the comment box below. Okay. And tell me any other interpretations that you saw. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next message. Bye.